just arrived from Timu. It's a drone that I'm gonna sample and check it out. I'm on vacation and I decided to give it a shot out here in beautiful Sedona. I mean, look where we're at here. Spiritual energy, beautiful rocks. Nowhere else you'd want to test out this drone, right? To see what the camera quality is and how it flies. One thing I will say is this box is beat up. This isn't the first time that I get a box that's all beat up from Timu. Although the items did work, it does concern me, especially when it's a drone and it's electronics. So right off the bat, I'm looking, it says 4K camera. That's what sold me on this because it's 4K. Let's hope the quality is as good as it is because a lot of people say 4K and then the quality just doesn't look as good. So I am a little skeptical because of the price on this drone, but I am here to give it a shot. I really am hoping that it is as good as it says because this would be a great Christmas present for the kids. So we're gonna get this thing in the air and see what it does and how it flies and how the quality of the camera looks. So let's check out what's inside the box. Comes in a nice little case. Nice, okay. A little black drone here. One battery, let's see here. Two batteries. Three batteries. Hopefully the batteries last as long. Why are they sending three batteries? Little remote here. Oh, dude, do I need batteries? <laughs> they give you three batteries, but do I need like actually double A batteries? If that's the case, I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy some. Then it folds kind of like the DJI. It feels like twice as light, maybe. It has a little juice in it. I'm hoping the remote doesn't take double A's or triple A's. I'm hoping I could charge that. I don't think I have any double A's or triple A's out here in the middle of nowhere. So I might have to go pick them up and fly them somewhere else. But it'd be a bummer if I can't fly this here because it is beautiful and it's a perfect setup. Okay, I'm in the car. I'm about to plug in the battery for the drone. Still gonna look for those double A's or triple A batteries with hopes I have them so we can fly this thing. I got some tools. It comes with a screwdriver, which is kind of cool. A little Phillips screwdriver. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see what kind of batteries are in here. They're probably double A's. And I think I might have some triple A's, but let's be positive, shall we? Three double A batteries. What do I have in these? <laughs> we went hiking to a uh, like a lava river place in Flagstaff, Arizona. So I got these two bad boys with batteries in them. So it might maybe save me. Nope. Triple A's. Ended up making a pit stop at the gas station to pick up some double A batteries, and it's time to test this thing out. We're gonna fly it. The problem is I don't have reception to download this app, so the footage I'm gonna have to fly it somewhere else, which is a bummer, but we'll see if we can get reception before we leave Sedona so we can get some rocks on this camera. So here we go. This drone has a mind of its own. Look at, like I'm not even touching it and it's like just going off on its own. So look at this. You spin me right. Still recording? Yeah. Alright, so as you can see, this drone is horrible. I can't even believe people are selling this thing. I mean, maybe I did it wrong because I didn't download the app. You know, I figured you could just fly it. Yeah, it's okay, leave it down there. That's where it deserves to be, in the dirt. <laughs> but seriously, I guess you gotta download this app. So I should have downloaded the app because flying this just as a remote control 
it's it's horrible. The connection is horrible. Like you're trying to make it go one way and it's going the opposite way. And if you let go of it, it's just taking off, spinning around in circles. So, um, you know, maybe it's something I need to do is read the directions on this. But um, so far, it's it's scary actually. It's like a weapon for sure. So. Like I was scared I was gonna hit these like power poles and then a car was coming and I couldn't even get control of it and then I'm thinking it's gonna fly into this ranch's property and it's gonna be gone forever. So yeah, so far, no bueno. I'm glad you didn't fly it the first time because you probably would've hurt yourself. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I'll play with it a little more. I think I'm gonna try to find a different location to download this app. Um, it's probably not gonna be at Sedona, sorry to say, but uh, at least we got the backdrop of me opening the box and talking about it a little bit. Time to get on the road, see where we're going next. Kind of breezy day at the park, don't you say? Day two, flying the drone, I'm back from vacation. It was a bummer we weren't able to get footage from Sedona, but I'm home now with my other daughter and we're at the park down the street. And we're gonna give it another shot, give it the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna fly this thing and see if we get the image we want and if it flies a little better using the app. Here we go. This is exciting because this is the first time I've gotten it to give me an image. Definitely not 4K, which I kind of knew. The quality is like a 1988 VHS camera that your parents had growing up. And I don't mean to be negative about this, but it's just, this is definitely false advertisement. They say 4K. When you hear 4K, you think like it's really good quality picture. <laughs> There's my girl. She's gonna be watching daddy fly the drone. Here is the setup. There is the drone. Once again, not touching anything and it wants to fly to nowhere. This thing is a piece of crap. Look at this, I can't even fly it long enough to even like make a video. Turn off the power, still spinning out of control. Stop. Stop, emergency stop right here, look at that. It doesn't even allow you to stop it. I think I'm just gonna leave the other video how it is. I don't even need to be doing this in the park because like, it's even worse. Having this whole app and everything, it's spinning out of control right now. I can't even turn the damn thing off. I turned this remote off. I'm about to kick it just to put it out. I can't even touch it right now because it won't even shut off. And I've, I've tried with the app and with the controller itself. So, not too sure what to do here. This drone, it has to be a malfunction. I can't see how someone's selling a product that's this bad. In other YouTube videos I saw, people struggle to fly it, but it's not this bad. As I'm going, it looks like the propellers are like freezing. So like, maybe that has to do with the damage on the box. The box was beat. So clearly something's wrong with this thing and I'm sending it back. Bottom line, and I'm not getting another one. 